Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tales of the Beard. Let's jump right into this. In a quiet corner of the world, nestled between rolling hills and dense ancient woods, lay the small village of Old Forge. It was a place where magic whispered through the trees and old legends came to life. The villagers spoke often of the enchanted forest, a mysterious place just beyond the village borders, rumored to be alive with magic and secrets. For centuries, the forest had remained untouched by those outside its boundaries. Villagers would occasionally glimpse at its verdant canopy from a distance, but never dared to venture inside. Stories of strange creatures and mystical phenomena kept everyone at bay. Despite the trepidation, a sense of wonder and curiosity about the forest pervaded the village. One crisp autumn morning, as golden leaves danced in the breeze, a young woman named Isla stood at the edge of the forest. She was an aspiring herbalist with a deep fascination for the magical properties of plants. Unlike her fellow villagers, who were content with the safety of their daily routines, Isla had always felt an inexplicable pull toward the enchanted forest. Her grandmother, who passed away many years ago, had often told her stories of its wonders. Isla, her grandmother's voice echoed in her memory, the forest holds the secrets of the ages. If you have the courage to seek them, you may uncover wonders beyond your wildest dreams. With a determined heart and a satchel filled with herbs and tools, Isla took a deep breath and stepped into the forest. The moment she crossed the threshold, the air seemed to hum with a gentle, otherworldly energy. The trees were ancient and towering, their branches forming a dense canopy that filtered the sunlight into a kaleidoscope of colors. As Isla ventured deeper, the forest revealed its enchantments. Glowing mushrooms illuminated her path, their bioluminescent light casting an ethereal glow. The leaves rustled softly, almost as if it was whispering secrets. The deeper she went, the more she felt the connection to the forest, as if it recognized her presence and actually welcomed her. Hours turned into days as Isla explored the forest and all its wonders. She encountered creatures she had only heard of in stories. Graceful little fairies with wings, mischievous spirits that darted between the trees, and majestic unicorns that roamed the meadowlands. Each encounter was a reminder of the forest's magic and its deep connection to the natural world. One evening, as Isla set up camp beneath a sprawling oak tree, she discovered an ancient-looking book buried beneath the roots. Its cover was in, had intricate patterns and a faint golden glow that just kind of started to radiate from it. Her hands trembling, she opened the book and began to read. The pages were filled with handwritten spells, potions, and just other things that she just kept getting more and more fascinating with every turn of the page. But the final entry was written in an elegant script and was actually a riddle. In the heart of the forest, where moonlight meets the stream, lies a hidden glade where reality and dreams, together entwine in a magical embrace, seek the source of the river to find your place. Isla knew that riddle held the key to uncovering the forest's greatest secret. Guided by the book and her intuition, she set out to find the hidden glade described in the riddle. Her journey took her through mystical landscapes, fields of wildflowers that sang with the breeze, crystal clear lakes that reflected the stars, and towering cliffs that seemed to touch the heavens. After days of searching, Isla arrived at a serene river that was through the forest. The water sparkled with a silvery light and she could see the moon's reflection dancing on its surface. Following the river upstream, she eventually came upon a secluded glade bathed in moonlight. In the center of the glade stood an ancient tree with branches that seemed to touch the stars. At its base was a small little chest. Isla's heart begins to race with excitement as she opens the chest, revealing a collection of rare herbs, enchanted crystals, and a beautifully crafted amulet. The amulet was adorned with a symbol that matched the patterns in the book that she had found. She held it up, a warm golden light, and vaulted her. The forest seemed to come alive with the sympathy of sounds and colors. 
and Isla felt a deep sense of peace and fulfillment. With the amulet in hand, Isla returned to Old Forge, her heart brimming with stories of her adventures and the secrets she had uncovered. The villagers, who had once been weary of the forest, listened in awe as she recounted her journey. Her discovery brought a new sense of wonder and curiosity to the village, inspiring others to explore and appreciate the magic that lay just beyond their doorstep. Years passed, and Isla became a renowned herbalist, a storyteller, sharing her knowledge and experience with all who sought to learn. The enchanted forest, once a place of mystery and fear, became a symbol of exploration and discovery, a reminder that magic and wonder could be found in the most unexpected places. And so that, the legend of the enchanted forest lived on, carried by the stories of those who dared to venture into its depths and uncover the mysteries that awaited. For in the heart of the forest, where moonlight meets the stream, reality and dreams intertwined in a magical embrace, forever shaping the lives of those who believed in the magic of their own stories. And with that, that is the Enchanted Forest. Just a reminder, get out, see the world, go on an adventure with you, some friends, some family, the dog. I don't know, maybe you walk a cat. But either way, magic can be found in any adventure that you create for yourself. Hopefully you enjoyed this. We'll be back next week with another episode of Tales of the Beard. <laughs>